Retro Rocks Gaming Videos. Hey, Rob here, and I'm wearing this headset because I'm here to sell you a slap chop. Yeah. No. I am not here to do that. A sham wow. No. Not a sham wow. No, I'm here to talk about a game. And people have had problems hearing me, even though I'm amazingly loud. But that's a recording problem. So I'm wearing these headsets so you can hear me better. Yeah. And now that you can hear me better, I can show you this. Squid's Odyssey for the 3DS. It just came out. I was sent a free copy of this by the Game Bakers. The Game Bakers. They bake games. It was sent to me for a purpose of review for the Guys Games and Beer audio and visual podcast. The problem is when I powered it up, I realized I have played this game before and I have reviewed it before. Dun, dun, dun. So, I decided instead I'd tell you about how I like it. So I moved this over to the Retro Rob station right here. That's the station. And decided to cover it a little bit and why I like it. But first, I'm going to read to you the description by the game bakers themselves. Squid's Odyssey is a unique mix of action strategy and RPG. Build your team of squid heroes for epic turn-based battles against corrupted crabs and shrimps. Corrupted crabs, people. I had a case of that once, but they gave me a little bit of shampoo, and it cleared it right up. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Steve Vahini. <laughs> I've done this about three, four times, and I've decided that's how it's pronounced. Correct me if I'm wrong. And the rest of the squids are in danger. An infectious black ooze is corrupting their world. The band of unlikely heroes need to fight back to save their underwater kingdom. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Squid's Odyssey is not just about gorgeous cartoon art, jaunty music, and humorous storytelling. The battles also provide a deep challenge as strategy and skill are required to use the environment, the squid's strengths, and the enemy's weaknesses to victory. I don't know if that last sentence made very much sense. Did it make sense to you? Not a lot, but it doesn't really matter. Because in my original review, well, this isn't really a review. This is just talking about it. But in my original review, which was on, what was it on? It was on, wait, 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 One Click Mac. That's www.OneClickMac, O W. O W O N E C L I C K M A C dot com. Uh, on my original review, I gave it a four point five out of five because it was good and I enjoyed it. Uh, it is exactly what they say it is. It's a strategy RPG. By the way, how'd you like that huge pause I made back there? Was that pretty good? I mean, you know, did you enjoy that? Is that pretty typically me? Is that what you watch this station for? Hey, when's Rob going to pause inappropriately in a sentence? And when's he going to completely go off topic? By the way, this off topic brought to you by Big Cup of Coffee. Mmm. Keeping my brain scrambled for years. Mmm. Back to the game. By the way, I'm showing some gameplay footage up here. If you want to look up there, look up there, look up there. Um, what I really like about the game is it's something different. Uh, you know, I don't think I've ever heard of an actual squid based game with a storyline anyway. Squids aren't particularly lovable, except in this case. But it, uh, basically plays it kind of plays like pool you know uh you take the little here you take your squid and i have a team of four of these and they're also 
They can also level up. Uh, see that little helmet on there? Each helmet has little different special abilities such as extra strength, extra speed, other, ty other types of bonuses. And you can buy different hats throughout the game and equip them. This is one of my favorite levels, by the way, that I'm showing you. I love the sea turtle level. But anyway, it's played like pool in that. You have the little enemies on the screen, and I'm going to... Here, I'm going to yank back here, and I'm going to aim them at... Oh, crap. I'm going to pull back and aim it. I am not... What am I doing here? I'm out of moves. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Skip turn. There we go. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. I can't do this kind of thing on Guys Games of Beer. I'd have to edit it out. But fortunately, I'm on my station, and I can do whatever I want. So I'm going to keep going with this. All right. So it's my turn. There we go. And the mechanic is basically I push my finger on the squiddy and I pull back. Boy, I hope you guys can see that okay. Here, there we go. That's a little better. And when I pull back, he shoots in a direction. See that? Now I'm going to move over to some other guys to show you something else. All right. Each one has a special ability. Now, this particular level only has this guy on it, but if you look, I can choose him, and now I'm going to launch a special ability, and it knocks the other squiddies out of the way. Actually, they weren't squiddies. They were other types of creatures, but you get the idea. So each one of them has a different ability, like one has the ability to shoot, one's a healer, so, it, you know, it's your basic RPG fare, but with kind of a light-hearted story. I mean, it's, you know, typ typical writing. It's pretty good, though. It's solid. Nothing stands out as bad. Uh, I really enjoyed the game. And I think for about, uh, it, right now it's $15 on the uh, Nintendo eShop, or whatever the heck they call it today. I think it's well worth it. And it's an enjoyable game. And it's original, and that's really all you can ask. And I don't think it's a huge download either. It didn't take very long to download, so that's a big plus too. So go check them out. Uh, I'll put a link down here below, and you can try them out for yourself. But definitely a game worth playing. And even though they sent it to me for free, I think it would have been worth it. I probably would have picked it up when it went on sale anyway, because I enjoyed the original so much. And this is the same game. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Sorry, sorry about the kind of discombobulated review, but you know, copy. Mm.